What lies below the Earth's surface? The crust, the mantle filled with hot lava, the deep and bubbling hot core. Yes, all of that is true, but there is also something else there. Scientists have found an ocean under the Earth's surface, a massive one at that. Sounds staggering, right? Let me tell you all about it. The discovery has been made some 700 kilometers deep into the Earth. The ocean lies just above the lower mantle in something called the Mantle Transition Zone. The water is present in a rock known as Ringwoodite. And do you know how big this ocean is? About three times the volume of all the planet's oceans combined. So if you take all of the Earth's oceans and triple them, that is the amount of water discovered inside the Earth. Now the question is, how does this water get there? Was it present when our planet was formed or did it appear due to some process that happened later? Now according to the findings presented in a 2014 scientific paper, the water cycle extends deep into the Earth's interior. Scientists believe the oceanic crust slides under adjoining plates of crust and sinks into the mantle, carrying water with it. They have now concluded that there is a mantle transition zone that acts as a large reservoir of water. That is because the minerals in this zone have a high water storage capacity. Consider ringwoodite. The rock in which the ocean has been found, it has a crystal structure that attracts hydrogen. It is basically like a sponge which soaks up water. Researchers also studied earthquakes to make this discovery. They deployed an extensive network of 2,000 2000 seismographs across the U.S. and scrutinized seismic waves emitted by over 500 earthquakes. You see these waves traveling through Earth's inner layers experience deceleration when passing through damp rock. And this indicated that there is indeed an extensive water reservoir inside planet Earth. Now that the ocean has been unearthed, it challenges our understanding of the source of Earth's water. All this while we thought water circulated between the atmosphere, surface water bodies and the underground water table. But we never knew that it was present deep inside the Earth as well. How does it affect the cycling of water? Do we need to redraw the water cycles in our textbooks? The scientific endeavor behind this revelation was led by Stephen Jacobson, a researcher at Northwestern University. He now asserts that there is significant evidence supporting that Earth's water originated internally. Could that really be the case? We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.